Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of introduction to Corn Shell. Last time we talked about using the typeset dash capital L command to create variables of a fixed width. And in this example right here, we are creating a variable called var. It is going to always be five characters wide. And anytime you try to stuff data into it, Corn Shell will take the first five characters starting from the left. So even if you try to put eight characters into it, corn shell will only take the first five from the left. And we said that creating variables using the typeset command and having them be a fixed width is good for creating formatted output, such as tables. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to print a formatted table. And this is what our output will look like. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to create one variable called column one. It's going to be 10 characters wide. And we're going to create another variable called column two. That is going to be five characters wide. And after we create those variables, we're simply going to put the word name into column one and the word age into column two and then we're going to print column one and then column two. Then we're going to print a blank line and then we're going to start just putting names and ages into column one and column two and then printing them off. So let's look at the code. First thing we do is we create the fixed width column variables typeset dash capital L 10 column 1 typeset dash capital L 5 column 2 now if you look at the output once again you can see we only have two columns so in theory I really didn't have to give the second column a fixed width predefine it with a fixed width because there is never going to be anything after it to print but I did it anyway. In the future, maybe I might want to add a third column, which has marital status. So we're all set for this being five characters wide, and then maybe the third column would start somewhere out here. But as it stands, the last column, in this case column two, really doesn't need to be of a fixed width. So once again, we define our two variables, column one and column two, using the typeset dash L command. And next, we define all the data we are going to put in to those columns. Here are the names. And I started with name zero through name three, just because arrays start with index zero and go incrementally one by one. So just to make this kind of like an array, it's not an array, but to make it kind of like an array, I started numbering from zero. So this is four separate variables and their related ages. Once again, I started age zero through age three. And then I give the two columns their headers now, after we have assigned name to column one and age to column two, we simply print it out. And you notice I didn't put any space between the end of column one variable and the dollar sign for column two. You don't need to. Corn shell can figure that out. But if you want to put a space in there, all the power to you. Afterward, just print a blank line because it makes the data easier to read. Next, we take and we assign the first name, which is name zero, column one. And we take age zero and assign that to column two. And we print out, once again, dollar sign column one, dollar sign column two. And we continue to do this. We assign name one to column one 
and we assign the value within age 1, column 2, and then we print out dollar sign column 1, dollar sign column 2, and we do the same for age 2, excuse me, name 2, we once again assign it to column 1, and we assign age 2 to column 2, and print the two columns out, and we do the third thing, excuse me, we do the same thing for the third name. So let's look at the output one more time. So everything got printed out just like we thought, and as you can see, column 1 always took up 10 spaces. Let's add that up. Name is 4, then the V-A-R-S-I-Z is right above all those blanks, and that's 6 characters. Therefore, the 4 plus the 6 is 10. And as you can see, column 1 always did take up 10 characters, regardless of what we placed into the column 1 variable. And the contents of column 2, whether it was age, or 39, or 14, or 21, or 77, always started at the same location vertically. So once again, if you want to create formatted output, you simply use typeset dash capital L, a number value, and then a variable name. That will guarantee that your variable is always going to be x characters wide, in this case 10, and it will always take input from the left-hand side, and it will only take the first 10 characters. If you enter less, corn shell will automatically pad the end of the contents of this variable right here so that it always comes out to be 10 characters wide, just like this right here.